Samsung is well known for making great SSDs, whether it's their earlier SATA drives, their newer M.2 ones, or even their USB options as well. And so the, the newest version of any one of those has to be the, the best thing around, right? Well, this is a new drive from Samsung, the T7 Touch, and has a fingerprint reader to help secure your data. Let's take a look at it and see if it's actually any good, how easy is it to use, and if you should actually go and pick one up. Now let's start with a look at the thing. It's actually an impressively small drive considering it's up to two terabyte capacity. Uh, this one is a one terabyte model and they come in either silver or black, and it's actually pretty nice. It's impressively small, like I said, it fits in the palm of your hand or in your pocket or in the smallest crevice of your backpack, which means yes, you will lose it at some point, um, but it also does have a single USB-C port as its only connection. Now it does technically have one other input and output, the input being the fingerprint reader and the output being the LED that surrounds the fingerprint reader as a sort of status indicator LED. And one other nice thing is that they do include both USB type A to type C and type C to type C cables in the box this time, which makes it really easy to use with either your Android phone or your Windows or Mac OS machine. So the big deal then, the the thing that's literally so important that you had to put it in the name, the touch feature. Uh, why did they put a fingerprint reader on an SSD? What's it useful for? How easy is it to use? Well, it's actually very easy to use when you do have a fingerprint saved on it. It takes like half a second for it to unlock. It's impressively good. Also, it's a fairly useful feature. If you, you know, lose the drive or it slips out your pocket or whatever, you leave it on a train or a plane, then it gives you a bit of peace of mind knowing that the average person who just plugs it into the machine after finding it can, can't can access any of the data that's on there, at least very easily anyway. Now, it's not the most secure thing that I can see. I'm not a penetration tester, so I can't give you any, you know, uh, concise understanding of if there is any vulnerabilities that you could access to, you know, swap partitions and get the data, as it does mount a partition when you plug it in. It's a read-only partition. That the only files that are on that are the setup files for the settings application that you would use to unlock the drive with a pin code, but it's still not quite as secure as the iStorage disk assures that I've checked out before that just don't do anything until you put in the correct passcode. Now setting it up is actually pretty simple, although you can use it just straight out of the box like any other USB-C SSD, you know, forgetting that it has a fingerprint reader on it at all and just use it like a normal drive. Although if you do pick one up, the fact that it's so easy to unlock it with basically no effort means that I would generally recommend putting your fingerprint or a couple of fingerprints in it just because you have the option and keeping your data a little bit more secure. Now when you do go to set it up, up. I'm using Windows here, but you can do this on the Android app or through macOS as well. And the setup is very simple. Basically, all you do is put in a passcode or passphrase or password, whatever you want to call it, and then press the add fingerprint option and do the usual fingerprint dance that you have to do with any level of fingerprint secure device. Once you've got a fingerprint saved, anytime you plug it in in the future, you'll need to use one of your saved fingerprints to unlock the drive. I should mention that when you're using using the password to unlock it, you need to have the settings application installed on the device you plug it into, otherwise you won't be able to unlock it if you don't add that fingerprint option. So it's reasonably secure and impressively easy to use, but does that security slow the drive down? Well, happily, no, it's, it's still bottlenecked by the USB-C 10 gigabit per second connection that's on it, but it's impressively fast. Samsung claims that it can do up to about a gigabyte per second reads and writes, although in my synthetic tests, I could see the reads getting anywhere between 800 and 900 to closing on a gigabyte per second, depending on the setup and the test that it ran. But on the writes, it was more like eight to 700 megabytes per second, which still isn't bad but not quite what Samsung was claiming. During my duplication test, stressing both the reads and writes simultaneously, I saw it copying anywhere between 300 and 350 megabytes per second, which is actually pretty good for a drive of this you know, connection type, let's say. 
It's fast enough that you could very easily use this for a video editing sort of scrub driver. Say you're video editing among a small team and you pass the driver around to you fairly regularly to do different parts. This would be a great option, both as the added security of keeping your file safe, but also being plenty fast enough to edit straight from, whether that's photos, videos, 3D models, whatever else, it should be plenty fine. Pricing is a bit of a concern as the drive costs around 200 pounds for the one terabit model around 230 dollars if you're in the usa and that's about 30 dollars more than their own 970 evo plus one terabit drive which is obviously a lot faster but is an m.2 format or is about 50 pounds more than their t5 the sort of unsecured version of this which again is also a usb 3.2 gen 2 driver 10 gigabit per second although the added security and of course the fact that it's a newer product account for the difference there well it's not a ma massive deal you're not get being incredibly price gouged by this it's certainly something to bear in mind that you're paying a little bit of a premium for the added security and newness factor if you do pick one of these drives up which if you're interested or if you just want to check out pricing when and way watch this you can do that with the link in the description down below that's an amazon affiliate link it will take you to your local amazon store we can see all of that stuff so what's the verdict then I actually really like it. The added layer of security, the sort of peace of mind that you get with the fingerprint reader attached is actually really nice. It's something that if you're using this for uh, any level of work, it seems like a no brainer to pay a little bit extra, but get that, well, like I said, added peace of mind. If you're you know, a home gamer, you're just using this as a backup driver to store files, transfer them to friends or whatever, I'd probably save yourself some money and go with a T5 instead. But like I said, if you're using this for any level of work, it seems a bit like a no-brainer. Well, you do pay a little bit of a premium for that extra functionality, it's certainly fast enough, it's still certainly secure enough for most use cases, and so it gets a massive thumbs up from me. And with that said, those are my thoughts, and I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think of the T7 Touch? Is this a drive you pick up yourself or would you go with the slightly cheaper T5 or go with a different option altogether? Let me know in those comments down below. Now if you'd like to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and do hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon. We also do tech Q&A live streams every Thursday night so if you've got any tech questions feel free to join in and ask and you can also check out the links in the description down below if you want to support the channel or like I said if you want to check out the T7 Touch. There's a load of links down there like Overclockers UK affiliate links as well as also Streamlabs OBS, Humble Bundle if you want to buy cheap games and support charities too and like I said a load of other stuff you can check it out. There's also merch hoodies or t-shirts like this one. Uh, go check it out. You can also check out some more videos over there if you want to keep watching. I'll try and remember to leave the T5 uh, review up in the cards or on the end cards as well and that is pretty much it. If you have any questions do feel free to leave those in the comments down below but otherwise we'll see you all in the next video.